Today is Sunday, the 24th of the 7th, 2016. In this short video, I'm going to show the new uh, vac childhood vaccination schedule, which is being introduced in Ireland on the 1st of October, 2016, and Health One has it already implemented in the programme. This is the current 2015 schedule on the left, and on the right, uh, this is the new schedule. And the, basically, the differences are that that two months the baby will be getting meningitis B plus the rotavirus. The rotavirus is an oral vaccine, so he gets two doses of the oral vaccine, one at two months and one at four months. The rotavirus back vaccine need, should not be given a, a, after eight months under any circumstances. Uh, so we have meningitis B is in two months, meningitis B is in four months as opposed to C here in PCV in the old one. And at six months you're going to add the meningitis C and you're going to give the third dose of the meningitis B at 12 months. At 13 months you give a Hib meningitis C. This is a new vaccine which will be a combination, one, one injection, a combination of Hib and meningitis C. Uh, so those two that you were giving in one vaccine plus the PCV. So as regards injections, you now have three injections instead of two at two months. You have two at four months. You have three again at six months and two, two. So the differences in the number of injections are you have three injections at two months and three injections at six months. I'm now going to show you how we will uh, implement that in Health One. So normally when a baby is born, you will go into the basic medical information to put in his vaccination schedule. You will click on this button here which says insert an aggregate and you will have a new, you will look for vaccination schedule 2016 and it's not there. But we will distribute this vaccine but you'll have to um, import it by the following method. What you'll do is you'll open the configuration tool up here once it's open, you click on File, Open, Aggregate. And in the Aggregate box, you have a special button here, this one here, which says Add the Default Vaccination Aggregate. We will have distributed to all sites. When you click on that button, you'll see a vaccination schedule 2016 instead of 2015, or as well as 2015, so you'll have a new thing here called vaccination 2016 which we will distribute to all sites. So when you get the new version of Health One, the upgraded version, and you go into the configuration tool and you click file open aggregate here and you then see the same button here, add the default vaccination schedule and you click on it, you will have a new option here vaccination 2016 and this will in one go add both the vaccination aggregate, which is here, and the schedule for those vaccines. So all you have to do is to save this change, close the configuration tool and the job is done. Now when you go into the patient file and you click on your aggregate button here, Shift F5, and you type in VACC, you'll have a new aggregate here called vaccination schedule 2016 double click on that and that's the actual aggregate. You also now, as you always had to do when you're inserting these things, you have to insert the schedule, the timing. So you right click on any one of these vaccines here. If you right click on it, you will see apply vaccination schedule down here, vaccination 16. So that will apply the timings to the aggregate. So that's two jobs. One is to put in the aggregate and the other is to apply the schedule to the vac to the aggregate. So you will, as always, you'll say here, apply the template either from the patient's birth date or another date if he's late in starting, and you'll normally exclude working days. So you click yes to that normally, and here you have your new vaccine schedule and the job is done. So you have here on the first injection, at or the first vaccination at two months, you have your six in one plus meningitis B plus pneumococcus, plus rot oral rotavirus, all in the same day, two months. At four months, you'll have the six-in-one, meningitis B, and the rotavirus again. At 
at six months, you will have the six in one pneumococcus and meningitis C. At 12 months, you will have the MMR and the meningitis B. And at 13 months, you will have this new vaccine here, Hib plus meningitis C, all in one injection, plus another injection for the pneumococcus. And then you can have your childhood and, and um, your teenage vaccines after that. And that is how you will uh, insert your new vaccines in 2016. And that's the end of this recording. Thank you.